welcome back this is the long tail build series video number 10 wow it's been a while i'm sorry about that i have no good excuses except that um i just don't have any excuses sorry <laughs> but i'm back and uh, i didn't stop building the bike however i actually finished the bike and uh, this video is the first video of that footage edited together into a video and here it is. So, without further ado, in the last video, we welded the chain stays to the bottom bracket. In this video, we'll bend and miter the seat stays and get those tacked onto the triangle. Let's get started! Alright, so first thing we need to do is bend the seat stays. I'll try the fill the tube with sand method and uh, that's exactly what it sounds like which is you fill the tube with sand and the sand uh, prevents the tube from pinching or compressing where the bend happens. And uh, normally you uh, weld some end caps on there to hold the sand in, in the tube but rather than do that I thought I would turn a set of uh, aluminum caps so uh, we'll see how that goes. I think you can tell where I'm going with this. Before we start bending, let me tell you why we're doing this in the first place. Uh, it wasn't my plan to do this, but after throwing the chain on there and checking the clearance, it became apparent that the chain would be too close to the seat stays. So uh, yeah, the chain and the seat stays might make contact in this area, so that's why we're bending the seat stays. That came out pretty good, but um, out of curiosity, I threw this uh, a scrap piece into the bender with no sand in it, and it still bent without a problem. So <laughs> I do, however, think that if the tube was of larger diameter, I would have had a problem. Uh, but this tube is a three-quarter inch tube, and uh, the bend was not that extreme. So uh, yeah, I guess I didn't need the sand. Okay, so now I'm marking where I need to make uh, cuts and I'm using a Paragon Machine Works tube block to index the uh, tube's rotation. So 
So you can see I'm putting the machine to square up against it. And that's how I know it's the proper rotation. And uh, yeah, so what I'm doing here is the tubes get really close together. They actually, uh, so they need to come together where they get welded onto the seat tube. And um, unless I cut them, they won't be close enough together. You'll see what I mean a little later on. Okay, so uh, this is what I was talking about. When the tubes come together and where those meet, that is where the seat tube needs to get welded. And so unless I cut material off, I can't get them close enough together to make a proper miter cut. And uh, all right, so what I'm doing now is I have the uh, machinist square out and I'm just kind of uh, checking everything and checking that my tubes are properly seated into my uh, seat stay miter jig. Pulling out that little slug there. Always a good idea to do that when you get that little piece stuck inside the hole saw. Just take the time to stop it and uh, take it out. I've had that thing um, get caught on the tube. It, it got caught between the teeth and the tube and it, it pulled the tubes out of alignment at one time. So, yep, never again. Always take that little thing out. And, uh, oh yes, okay. Um, it's been a while, so this is this is old footage, so I kind of couldn't remember what I was doing here. So yeah, I was cutting the slot, and uh, need, need to take off a little bit more. And there we go, now it fits, fits up well. Okay, we get the tubes loaded on. And uh, pretty soon we'll be ready to start tacking this thing. There's that... Uh, that close fit up and making one last cut here that's the end that goes on to the dropouts the rear dropouts and here's a really steep miter cut uh, this tube here that that miter cut and this one this tube is the one that goes on to the uh, I don't know what you'd call this, but it goes between the C tube and the top tube. You'll see it in a second here after I get this, uh, after I get the tubes loaded back on. And there it is, that little guy right there. Okay guys, that's a wrap. In the next video, we'll get the seat stays welded and hopefully I can get that video out to you guys in a week. But don't quote me on that. I will try. I will try my best. As always, thanks for watching and uh, staying around to catch more of the Long Tail Build series. I know you waited a long time and I do apologize for that, but hopefully we're back on track here. And uh, yeah, I'll have more videos and hopefully video week after week until this series is done. Alright, I'll see you guys later.